This video explores the conditional formatting in Excel. The conditional formatting in Excel is found under the Home tab where you get here the full menu for, the, for conditional formatting. Now, what conditional formatting does is it highlights your cells based on specific rules that you supply. Starting with the highlight cell rules, you can highlight rule or you can highlight cells in Excel that are greater than a value, that are less than a value, between values, that's for numbers, equal to numbers or text, text that contains specific text that is applied, dates occurring between ranges between like dates occurring last week last month duplicate values as well on the top and bottom rules you can highlight the top 10 items for example you can see i have my product sales and i want to see the top 10 items or top 10 performing uh, categories you can also look at top uh, 10 percent that is when you're dealing with percentages, you can look at analyze bottom 10 items, bottom 10% items, above average or below average. We are going to lose, look at also uh, more rules and what you can do when you create specific custom rules. On the data bus, you can tell Excel to color specific cells based on their values. You can use color scales and icon sets. Let's start with the highlight cell rules for greater than. In this data set, you've been given order date, ship mode, customer date, all the way to the amount. For example, if I wanted to only highlight in my cell rules, I want to highlight greater than. So I'll say only highlight for me cells that are greater than 5,000. So this requires you to select the column that you need to highlight conditional formatting, I like cell rules, then I like greater than 10, 5,000. So I'll type here 5,000. You can leave the default color here or select the colors that you want it, you, your cells to be colored with. You can also use the custom format where you use your own colors or the font, border, or the fill color. So whenever I use this, I can say I want to highlight all the cells and I highlight in blue. Then I fill that in blue and the font color, I supply this as uh, font color white. Then I click OK. Now this will change my cells based on the values that I select. Now you can go to data, then filter and tell Excel to only filter out colors that are equal to blue. So you can see only cells that are above 5,000. Let me undo that. The next one is conditional formatting and I want to highlight cells and I want only less than. So for this case, I want to see cells that are below 1,000. So I'll select my cell, then select my column, conditional formatting, highlight cell rules that are less than 1,000. Like that, so it's going to highlight anything that is below 1000, and I'm going to leave this by default light red fill with dark text. Then click OK. So you can scroll down and see there are values there that are below 1000. The next conditional formatting that I want us to look at is highlight that are between. So I can say, What about my cells that are between 2000 and 3000? So that way, I'm going to go back to my sales column, select column O, conditional formatting, I like cell rules for numbers that are between. So for this case, I'm going to highlight that are between 2,000, 2,000, and 3,000. Then I'm going to give it a special color. For this case, I'm going to use, let me use yellow fill. So I'll pick this and pick like that and you'll see that it's going to give me a yellow field based on my values. Finally, I want to filter or I want to highlight cell rules that for a text that contains a specific uh, character. In this data set, I have countries in my data set that is Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania and Rwanda. If I wanted to only highlight Count, uh, Rwanda is a country, I'll select the column that I need, conditional formatting, I like cell rules, 
and then I write only text that is equal to Rwanda. Then I could say, give me a custom format, and the custom format is green. Then I'm going to click OK, and click OK. Then you can see that the country Rwanda has been filled, um, colored green. If I wanted to see only data for green, or that is Rwanda, I can use the data uh, filter tool. Then from here, I'm going to filter by color and only filter green. I know that my yellow color here was uh, amount between 2,000 and 3,000, so I can come down here and say filter by color and filter only yellow. So that way, I know that I filtered Rwanda and I filtered amounts that are between 2,000 and 3,000. So you can do multiple color filtering using uh, the conditional formatting. Further, we continue and use the conditional formatting to also filter where we have dates occurring. For example, my data set starts as the latest date is 23rd October 2023. So if I wanted only to filter cells for last month, that is September 2023, I'll select the column that I need, then conditional formatting, I like cell rules for date occurring. I want to pick last month. So you can pick yesterday, today, tomorrow, in the last seven days, last week, this week, next week, last month, this month, and next month. I want to pick last month. Then I'm going to leave this by default and click OK. So when I filter this data, then filter, and go to filter by color, you'll see that I have filtered this by the automatic color that gave us, and you can see this is only September 2023. Now I can invoke and bring in Rwanda, and I can bring in amounts that are, say, above 5,000. Filter color and pick 5,000. And you can see my values there is only for Rwanda that happened last month for amounts above 5,000. I'm going to unfilter that. Then go back to conditional formatting where you can also filter duplicate values. For example, if I want to see if there were duplicate values for my order IDs, I can select this. Conditional formatting, I light cell rules, and I light for duplicate values. And you can see I have duplicate order IDs across. Sometimes we want to only just visually see whether we have, we have duplicate values or non-duplicate for my order IDs. At any one time, if I don't need to use the conditional formatting anymore, I can select the entire sheet, then go to conditional formatting, then clear rules, and I can clear it in the selected cells or entire sheet. And you can see I've lost all my conditional formatting uh, rules. Further, you can also use conditional formatting for top and bottom rules, where you can say, for this case, I want to see my top cells, so I'd go to the last column where I have amounts and tell Excel to give me a light top 10 items. So when I click OK, it won't, I won't see that, but I can go to filter like that and filter by color and tell Excel to give me the top 10 rules. And you can see here, my top 10 are amounts between uh, 9,000 something to 10,000 because the biggest value for this data set is 10,000. You can also use the clear here so that you can clear whatever you've uh, filtered out so that you resets like that or go to home, reformatting and clear rules. That way you can clear the colors but you can also clear the filters here. Conditional formatting doesn't stop there. Conditional formatting can also Analyze for you the top 10 when you have your values in percentages, bottom 10, bottom 10%, above average, and below average. When it comes to data bus, you can select this value, uh, that column, then conditional formatting data bus, and just place data bus like that, and Excel is going to apply for you in data bus based on the value. Since the biggest value or the largest value for my data set is 10,000, you'll see the data bar is showing a greater value or a greater intensity of green for values that are 
towards 10,000 and a lower uh, intensity of green below values or values going towards zero. Other tools that you can use are color scales that uh, use the same as data bus, and you can also use icon sets. The icon sets are um, items that you can automatic, automatically select your cells based on the values that are in there. So whenever I select this, original formatting, icon sets, and you can pick icon sets as uh, applied for your data sets. In my next video, I'm going to explain how to use custom rules. For this case, going to conditional formatting and using the new rule so that you can put custom conditional formatting. Thanks for watching.